Looking for a new washing machine that can power through load after load of dirty laundry while treating your delicate items with care? Here's what you need to know. The main things to think about when choosing a washing machine are your budget and space, types of washers, available features, and finally, installation considerations. Start by asking yourself a few questions to help determine what kind of washer would be right for your home. Do you want to purchase just a washer or is now a good time to replace your dryer too? Buying a washer and dryer together can possibly save you money as there are often deals on laundry pairs. Keep this in mind when setting a budget. Next, how much space is there in your laundry room? If you have enough space to install your laundry pairs side by side, spend some time thinking about its placement. Consider things like foot traffic, task space, and clearance for the door swing. If, however, space is limited in your home, you may want to consider a stacked front-load washer-dryer setup. This is where the dryer, which is lighter, is mounted above the washer. Another option is a stacked laundry center, which combines the washer and dryer in one body or frame with a front-loading dryer above a top-loading washer. These units are available in both gas and electric options. Stacked laundry centers are a smart option for apartments and condos, as they typically measure 74 to 76 inches high by 24 to 28 inches wide and 27 to 33 inches deep. That's small enough to fit in a closet. Do you have even less space to spare? Then an all-in-one washer-dryer could be the ideal option. This combination machine performs both washing and drying functions and is ideal for tight spaces like bathrooms or closets. Since it has the ability to be ventless, meaning it doesn't need a vent to the outdoors, it can be installed virtually anywhere. Another thing to think about is washer capacity. Do you have a large family? Then you might get more value from a washer with more capacity. Greater capacity means more laundry per load. Or is your household small? If so, or if you live in a smaller space, you may want a smaller capacity washer. The last planning question to ask yourself is, how often does my household do laundry? Laundry frequency can impact quality, cost of maintenance, electricity bills, and water efficiency. The good news is that many machines are Energy Star certified and use less water and power to run. Washing machines come in two major types, front load and top load. Front load washers use gentle rotations to help combat stains. They usually feature a direct drive motor to help achieve and maintain high spin-out speeds for appropriate cycles. With respect to high efficiency, front load washers pave the way. They can help you save on detergent and use less water. While they may need longer wash times, their high spin-out speeds wick away more moisture, resulting in shorter dry times. Front load washers are typically more expensive than top load washers, but are considered to be more energy efficient. Front load machines have flexible installation options, including side by side with the dryer, stacked with the dryer on top, or under a countertop with a work surface above. This design creates extra room for storage or for folding clothes. Typical capacity for a front load washer ranges from 5 to 5.8 cubic feet. The height of an average front load washer ranges from 38 to 43 inches with a typical width of roughly 27 inches and a depth of 28 to 34 inches. Compact washers are available with a capacity of 2.1 to 2.6 cubic feet and a width at around 24 inches. As we've mentioned, front load washer dryer pairs offer multiple installation choices, side by side, under a countertop and stacked. Stacking your front load dryer on top of your front load washer is a common space-saving strategy. These machines are usually slightly narrower and smaller so they can fit into a tighter space such as a closet. For full-size stackable washers and dryers, you'll typically need a space that is 80 inches high by 28 inches wide by 31 to 34 inches deep. Always check and follow your appliance and product use and care instructions before beginning any task as it should be your primary source of information. Whether you choose to stack your washer-dryer duo or install them side by side, you may need additional accessories. To stack your washer and dryer, you'll need to purchase a stacking kit. These kits include metal brackets that help stabilize the dryer, making sure it sits sturdily on top of the washer. The dryer should always be on top since it's usually lighter than the washer. 
Stacking kits also help absorb vibrations, reducing noise when in use. This is a benefit to those who live in apartments and condos. Due to the weight of the washer and dryer, stacking is not recommended if there is a pedestal underneath. Pedestals are sometimes used in side-by-side front-load washer-dryer setups. They are usually sold separately and go underneath each machine to raise it. A pedestal can raise your machine anywhere from 12 to 16 inches. Keep in mind the height is not adjustable. This can help make loading and unloading easier. Many pedestals have drawers to increase the storage capacity of your laundry room or to tuck laundry detergent out of sight. Pedestals come in different sizes and not all models can work with them. Always double check measurements and compatibility beforehand. Now that we've covered the basics of front load washers, let's move on to the other main type, top load washers. Top load washers range from low price point value washers to high end options, which can include impressive features like a larger capacity, Wi-Fi connectivity, steam clean, to name a few. They can be more comfortable to use since you load the washer from the top and don't have to bend over. But, depending on your height, you may find it harder to grab items from the bottom of the washer. Top load washers use either an agitator or an impeller to circulate laundry inside the tub. An agitator is a tall, vertical spindle in the middle of the washer. It works by physically rubbing against each article of clothing to help fight stains and loosen dirt. Agitators usually offer shorter wash times. This does depend, though, on which soil level is selected. Deep water wash options are available for those who prefer more water to help break down loose soils. Impeller style washers use low profile cones, wheels, fins or discs to spin and gently rub clothes against each other. This design moves laundry from the outer rim of the wash basket to the center using only a small amount of water to optimize friction. An impeller uses less motion and less water than a washer with an agitator. Because there's no spindle in the middle of the tub, these models offer additional space for bulky items and are easier to load and unload. Also, their high spin speeds reduce drying time. Energy Star certified models that use less energy and water than regular washers are available in both types. When researching top load washers, don't forget to compare size and capacity. Common capacities range from 4.2 to 6.1 cubic feet. The average height of a top load washer is 42 to 43 inches with a common width of 27 to 27.5 inches and a depth of 25 to 28 inches. Hopefully by now you may have a general idea of what type of washer you'd prefer. So let's dive a bit deeper into washing machine features. These features are available on the market, though they are not necessarily included on every front load or top load washing machine. Let's start with performance. Some front load washers have a cycle that can periodically tumble dry your clothes in the washer. Select front load Maytag washers offer a fresh hold and fresh spin option that uses a fan and intermittent tumbling to keep clean clothes smelling fresh for up to 16 or 24 hours. Some washer models have a feature designed to help you save time by automatically dispensing detergent. This feature calculates how much detergent is needed and eliminates any uncertainty about the right amount. Furthermore, it removes the hassle of adding detergent to every load. Select front load Maytag washers offer an optimal dose dispenser that adds the right amount of detergent when it's needed, holding enough for up to eight loads of laundry. Some top load washers feature a water station where you can soak garments in either plain water or water plus detergent. This allows you to pre-treat stains before your laundry goes into the wash cycle. Select Maytag top load washers have a built-in water faucet where you can rinse away loose soils as clothes go in or fill the tub for a soak before the cycle begins. Some washers and dryers can now be connected to a smart device. This connectivity allows you to monitor your wash cycle even when you're not home. Select Maytag washers have smart features that allow you to connect via the Maytag app and remotely start or stop your appliance, get end of cycle notifications and troubleshoot select issues. Plus, you can use a Google Assistant enabled device to send voice commands to your Maytag smart washer, no matter what you've got on your hands. Many new machines offer a suite of cycles to ensure your clothes are properly cleaned. A typical washer detects the soil level and then adjusts with pre-soak, deep, heavy clean, rapid wash time, and even special settings for delicates. 
Machines now include more than just hot or cold options. They have temperature settings like warm or even allow you to select different wash and rinse temperature combinations. For example, hot, cold, warm, warm, or even warm, cold. Select Maytag washing machines feature an extra power button that helps boost stain fighting performance with a dual temperature wash, since some stains dissolve best in hot water and others in cold. Some machines may offer sanitize cycles that use extra hot water temperatures to eliminate high percentages of common household bacteria. Another feature worth considering is load sensing. The washer will sense the size of the load and then determine the right settings to proceed with. This feature can save you time and take the guesswork out of washing. One final consideration before you make your purchase is installation. For starters, you need to confirm that you have enough room for your preferred washer-dryer setup. Follow these steps to help measure your space. 1. Decide on a setup, side-by-side, -side, stacked, or with pedestals for front-load machines only. 2. Consider spacing. You will need approximately 4 feet in front of the laundry duo to ensure easier loading and unloading. Check the door swing requirements of both appliances and the room door. Add about 6 inches behind the machines for hoses and venting space. To reduce noise, add about 1 inch on each side of the unit. And if you are considering a top load washer, add some additional space above the washer for easy opening closing of the lid. 3. Next, measure the height, length and width of the laundry area. Add in the extra height of appliance pedestals if you choose to purchase them separately. 4. Lastly, figure out the best path from your home's entrance to the appliance installation location. This is paramount, as you will need to ensure that your newly purchased machine will fit through each hall and doorway en route to your laundry space. Always check and follow your appliance and product use and care instructions before beginning any task, as it should be your primary source of information. Will you be installing your own washer or laundry pair, or would it be better to hire a professional? If you plan to do it yourself, always consult your appliance's installation guide for all electrical requirements and to ensure that both the inlet and drain hose are installed as recommended. If you would prefer to have a certified professional install your new washer or washer-dryer pair, make a point of clearing the space around the machine and also ensure the specific parts and the installation guide are available for the professional. The right washer helps you power through tough loads and keep your clothes fresh. From tackling week after week of laundry to taking the guesswork out of wash cycles when you're pinched for time, you'll be glad you chose the right machine for your needs. We hope you found this video helpful as you plan your washer purchase.